Do you know what happens if there's a total power blackout on a plane? Modern airplanes are highly dependent on electrical power for its control surfaces. So, what would happen exactly? Will it lose control and create a catastrophic accident? In this video, you'll get to know what happens in these situations and how this hidden device can basically save the entire plane. First of all, to explain all these systems, we will use the Boeing 777 as an example, since it is a reference in safety. But other commercial aircrafts do not have significant differences. The main sources of electric power for commercial airplanes in normal conditions are two alternating current electric generators called Integrated Drive Generators, or IDGs. There is one IDG in each engine and a third one in the Auxiliary Power Unit, or APU, which is a small turbine engine in the tail. Any of these three generators can independently supply all the electrical load necessary to power the aircraft for the flight. In case of loss of one of these generators, the APU's generator takes over, and everything continues as if nothing had happened. But what if the pilots are having a really unlucky day and all three generators stop working? Well, at this point, with all these failures, the pilots will abandon the flight plan and will divert to land at the nearest airport. But the airplane will continue flying safely, since in addition to those three main generators that just failed, there's one backup generator on each engine. As long as the engines are running, these backup generators will be available to supply essential systems that require AC electrical power. A crucial element to this power management is a computer called ELMS, Electrical Load Management System. This computer knows exactly what is most essential for the airplane at every second. For example, it redistributes the electrical power from non-essential systems, such as the coffee maker, or the movie you're watching on the plane's media system, and directs that load to essential systems. But what if the unluckiest guy in the world is on board, and besides those three IDGs, the two backup generators also fail? Then the passengers are screwed, right? Well, no. Each of these two backup generators has two permanent magnet generators, or PMGs. They can be compared to those dynamos that were used on bicycles to light a little headlight with the motion of the wheel. These PMGs work even if the generator fails, since they are installed directly on the axis of that generator, and as long as the engine is spinning, the PMGs will be generating energy. But this energy is directed specifically to the fly-by-wire system, which controls the plane's control surfaces. But what if the three IDGs, the two backup generators, and the four PMGs all failed? Then the plane loses control, right? Guess what? No, it doesn't. The airplane will continue flying because it has a very powerful battery that will keep the essential electrical systems powered for at least one hour before discharging. But what if the battery fails? At this point, it's important to note that it is an alkaline-type battery, more precisely, a nickel-cadmium battery, known for being extremely reliable and stable, unlike lithium or lithium-ion ones that are on your smartphones and laptops. But let's suppose that the plane is in the middle of the ocean, the nearest airport is several hours away, and the battery runs out. How could it continue flying? It can't create energy out of thin air. Or can it? Well, this is where this device enters into action. This is a wind generator. It's a type of weather vane that is hidden in the belly of the airplane, which, in this case, is lowered automatically. This electrical generator is called Ram Air Turbine, or RAT. Thus, the RAT spins and generates energy for the essential electronic instruments and the fly-by-wire systems. But let's suppose that in an unlucky turn of events, a bird strikes the RAT generator and destroys it. Now there's just no way the airplane can fly. It will crash since all its power systems are compromised, right? Well, I know this sounds unbelievable, but even then the plane can continue to fly because there are emergency batteries dedicated exclusively to fly-by-wire. The electrical surfaces would continue moving directly, but there would be no instruments working anymore in the cockpit. It would be a visual flight only. And not even then does this airplane fall. But let's assume that in addition to losing the three generators, the two backup generators, the four PMGs, the battery, and the Ram Air Turbine, 
It also lost the emergency batteries of the fly-by-wire system. At that point, you would really be having a terrible day without any instrument and no electrical power. But you would still be able to maneuver the Boeing 777 via mechanical control cables, acting on the horizontal stabilizer to make the nose of the airplane go up or down, and two spoilers that will act as ailerons to make turns. And at the time of landing, the landing gear can be lowered by gravity. Basically, that's how critical systems are developed in commercial airplanes. That's why aviation is so safe, because everything in aviation is designed taking into consideration that something will fail. And if something fails, something else has to work. And even if this last one fails, there's still a backup. This is an overall explanation of the extreme redundancy that modern airplanes have, but these systems are actually much more complex and with many more details that make it much more redundant than we can imagine. If you enjoyed this type of content, consider becoming a channel member. Starting at only $2.99 a month, you can get early and ad-free video access, exclusive wallpapers, and a lot more benefits on higher categories. Choose the member category by clicking the join button below or via our Patreon. Thank you for watching.